Okay, so basically we're gonna be getting ready for the day even though it's already 4.57. It's actually not even late, but because of like the daylight savings and everything, it's making it feel like it's so much later than it actually is. I don't really like to live with my days being cut short at 4.30. I don't know why every year I just am not used to it and then it comes back and then I forget that it was ever a thing in the first place. Live, laugh, love. I'm gonna need to refill my water as soon as possible because I can't tell y'all the news while I'm dehydrated. Why is my honey buns calling me? Dude. I'm literally filming. <laughs> so I tried to move the tripod just to make it look like a little bit more cozy in here. I do have like some, some little clutter in the back. We're gonna do a cleaning, organizing my room with me very soon. I actually already started it, but I haven't finished it obviously. So we're gonna get onto that in a little bit. I wanted to do a little life update with you guys. I feel like we haven't talked much basically since my last story time. And that wasn't even an update on my life. That was an update on my life like two years ago. Also, I'm gonna film a TikTok right now while I'm getting ready just so that I can do like a little transformation type thing if you guys aren't following my new tiktok make sure you guys go follow it except actually i don't really want to put on lashes today just because i feel like i put on lashes yesterday and i looked like a completely different person and it low-key scared the fuck out of me i don't think i really want to do all that honestly i might it just depends how my makeup look comes out in the end if i really need lashes or not i'm gonna be using this palette it has some really pretty colors and i'm gonna use the mirror on it i'm not really gonna put that much makeup on just because like i said i wore makeup yesterday and i feel like it low-key broke me out dude where'd my kkw contour stick go put on some lip gloss real quick this one is just from this little company i'll put it on the screen she sent a bunch of her lip glosses to me it smells like a sugar cookie cupcake like it smells so freaking good I haven't really been up to much. By the way, I'm using the KKW contour stick. I ended up finding it. Y'all already know. I feel like I haven't really been hanging out with anybody at all recently. Except for like my boyfriend. But that really doesn't count because that's not even... That's not a friend. Ooh. Did I put on too much? I have a lot of sunscreen on too because the sun literally just went down and now it's all dark and I don't even need sunscreen anymore. I don't know how my makeup is going to turn out because of how oily my face is right now. But hopefully it still comes out good because I'm not about to redo it. Back to what I was saying, I just don't really hang out with people anymore. I pretty much just hang out with my mom, my sisters. And like my sister will come back from Mexico and then I'll kick it with her like the whole time she's here. I don't know. I've been so disconnected with friends and just with people in general. I don't know what it is, honestly. I just I've been through so many friendships and like they usually never end up working out I've low-key been navigating the world by myself these days I feel like people just always switch up for no reason on me They end up having like some type of hidden agenda against me Then I end up looking back on our friendship and I end up realizing that like this whole time they were showing me signs and I was just missing them. Like if you feel like they're being shady towards you and they're comparing their other friends to you, you just always have something to say about your physical appearance, then those are not your friends. And I don't know why it took me so long to realize that like these people were shady as fuck. Even my own family members, y'all, like it's crazy out here. It's just low-key embarrassing. It's just like, bro, I don't ever want to have friends again. But on another note, because I don't want to be too negative, make this video about the negative haters that don't matter. But honestly, my life has been pretty good. Like just being by myself, like navigating navigating the world on my own just like my life has really come into perspective and I've been thinking a lot about just so many different things I've low-key grown up so much in the past just like six months like ever since I stopped hanging out with people and I've started to really focus on myself and my self-growth because I really did used to be a negative person and it wasn't because I was naturally like that I don't know I feel like I was like in like this weird bubble where I didn't know how to open up to people I didn't even know how to open up to my own YouTube channel and like the only person I could really talk to was maybe Maybe like my sister, my mom, my boyfriend, like that's pretty much it. It was kind of like around the time that I was moving out of my apartment, but it was like three months before I moved out. I low-key did not like living alone. Like I feel like people will hype up living alone just because they like hate their parents or they hate listening to like what their parents gotta say or just like coming home at a certain time, having a curfew, things like that. Then when you actually move out, it low-key is depressing because then you have to deal with everything by yourself. Especially me, like I lived an hour away from my parents, so it wasn't like the idea ideal situation like whenever I could call them I would literally have to wait a whole ass hour for them to pull up and then people literally found my address followed me home from a party like me and my friends I didn't know who the fuck they were they were like just these random people I already told the story about that but I'm 
take out these things because I might put on one of those like skincare headbands instead. I ended up blending out my makeup while I was on the phone. I felt like it was gonna dry so I just wanted to blend it out real quick because I'm also gonna do like some eye makeup and stuff. Okay right now I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeliner because I'm feeling kind of frisky tonight even though I'm gonna take it off right after this. Got the Better Than Sex liquid waterproof eyeliner which honestly works really well but the only thing that I hate about it is that it's so liquid that if you fuck up like it's it's messed up like you have to redo it and I literally suck at eyeliner so bad like I don't do it very often so whenever I do do it I kind of mess up and I have to redo it a couple times I feel like this works better for me though if I get like a dark brown color or even like a black color from like an eyeshadow palette also you guys I've been getting a lot of questions on like if I moved out or why I moved out because I think like two months after I graduated I moved into an apartment and honestly it was really cool it was a really cool experience I wouldn't like take it back or anything like I don't regret it and I am gonna be making a video about like me moving out and how I moved out it was honestly really hard like I lived alone and I paid all my bills alone so it was just really annoying having to be an adult like actually be an adult I wouldn't take it back for anything like I don't regret anything I was only in there for like eight months I was like there two months after my six month like rental period because the people that I was living with they told me that after the six month lease that i could sign like a year lease with them and everything was cool everything was set in stone but honestly i just didn't really want to live there anymore because people knew where i lived i ended up moving out i think in february or march it was like late february march like a whole bunch of stuff was happening and i ended up having a miscarriage things were just really tough on me emotionally just mentally i could not live alone like i felt like i couldn't be there by myself or just like with people even my friends who were there for me and i really appreciate that it was still a really hard time for me so i did end up moving back but then i also ended up staying home because Y'all, yeah, I told y'all I'm not good at eyeliner. I don't know why I even attempt it at this point. Because this shit looks terrible. I ended up moving out. And honestly, I was really glad that I moved out. Because I ended up literally getting pregnant. Again. <laughs> honestly, when I found out, I didn't even know if I wanted to record like a reaction. I didn't know if I wanted to tell anybody. I was just really scared when I found out. Because it was not in my 2024 yearbook plans. Actually, is that? This is why I don't fucking do makeup because this shit comes out like. I'm not even gonna do too much on myself. This is my little pregnancy announcement video. I didn't really know how to tell y'all because I felt like I was keeping a huge secret from you guys. And it felt low key wrong for a long time. But honestly, like, I'm not happy that I kept it a secret. But I feel like, I don't know, I found out and I was just thinking, like, the last thing I wanted to do was tell the internet. I just remember about what happened last time and that shit was not fun to live in like, y'all might have seen it on the internet or whatever but i actually had to live it it had me really sad for a long time just thinking about it like even now even though i already have like another baby coming you just will never know how it is like to go through a miscarriage unless you actually go through one dude this side looks good but then this side should have never happened wait hold on i low-key ate y'all see that like it honestly doesn't look that bad this is what the left side looks like and then this is what the right side looks like. They're not like twins, but they're definitely like probably like best friends or something. I don't know. They're definitely not related, but it was really crazy. When I found out, I did not know what to do, but I immediately told my mom and I told my sister and I told the baby daddy. But like, yeah, so I literally only told three people like we didn't tell anybody at all for the first like three, four months. And then I started telling like other people, like some of my closer friends, closer family members. But even then, it took me a while to tell people because it was just not something that I felt like was anybody's business. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to put it in a nicer way, but I feel like just everything that happened the last time I was so traumatized. And then I feel like I was so like emotionally triggered by everything that had to do with like babies and everything. And I feel like nobody really understood what I was going through. And everybody just kind of like kept living their life. And I just had to stay behind and like think about everything that happened. But you know, I feel like this happening really like helps me to heal my heart and just like heal the damage that was done from everything that happened back in March. I don't even know. I feel like I was too young to experience that but also like nobody told me to get pregnant so i don't really feel bad for myself but just going through a miscarriage is like the worst thing it makes you feel like you'll never be able to make another baby and then like when i got pregnant it was just so emotional because i didn't think that like i thought i was infertile y'all 
Like, don't even give me fucking back. Like, my mom is so fertile, so I don't know how I could be infertile, but, you know, things happen. Because I feel like it's so different. Like, when you're in high school, you don't really think about anything that's... Especially me. Like, I wasn't really having... I wasn't really having sexual intercourse like that in high school. I wasn't on birth control or anything. I feel like I just, like, was kind of playing it safe a little bit. Once you get out of high school, you start to realize, like, things really do change. Things are different. Like, everything gets so much more real. I could not imagine going through this in high school. I was already like damn near depressed in high school i just had so much unnecessary anxiety that i don't know where the f it came from i felt so bad keeping this secret from you guys just, i know i have a lot of people that have been watching me since i was like 14 15 even 13 like <laughs> That's actually crazy. Like, you're basically my mom. I'm, like, basically your mom. I've been such an emotional wreck, y'all. Okay, you guys. So, my camera died yesterday. So, I couldn't finish telling you guys everything that I was really feeling or whatever. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to tell you guys in a casual way. I didn't want to do it up too much because I'm going to be doing more videos about my pregnancy. Everything that's been going on. Like, the worst side effects. Like, you know, like, the pros and cons of being pregnant. Which there really is not too many pros, let me tell y'all right now. Do not glorify teen pregnancy or pregnancy until you're literally like 23. I'm here to tell y'all that this was not an easy journey, but definitely 100% worth it. Like, once you get to the finish line and you get to, like, your third trimester, I think I'm about to be in my third trimester. Basically, at the end of my second trimester, which is, I think, 13 to 27 weeks or something like that. It's been crazy. I've already been pregnant for, like, six and a half months, almost seven months. You know, I pretty much experienced everything there is to experience about being pregnant. It was literally the craziest time period in my life. I feel like there's so many crazy things that change that you don't realize are gonna change but then they change instantly like even when you're not you don't even have the baby like the baby's not even born yet but like things are already changing but honestly i'm really glad that i got to share this news with you guys because i feel like it's been a long time coming and i didn't really know how to tell you guys just because the last time everything happened i didn't feel i didn't feel very comforted it's definitely gonna get easier as like i go on and i have my baby i'm really excited to share this journey with you guys thank you guys so much for watching watching i'm gonna be making another video on this soon my card is running out of sd footage and i don't know if i have another sd card so thank you guys so much for watching i'm like stomach reveal i'm like really pregnant like it's really a real thing honestly it's so crazy to me but like i'm so excited at the same time too i love y'all all right tune into the next video thank you guys so much for watching